Hello, everybody. Welcome to a brand new series on Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon, the action puzzle dungeon crawling. And you know what? I'm going to say roguelite because I'm going to play with the roguelite mode turned on. Uh, roguelite <laughs> that we checked out for the Let's Try series. And it was an absolute blast. You guys seem to really like it. And uh, I've got a series slot, so let's check it out at the very least for a little bit. If you guys want a full series out of this, let me know in the comments below and we can maybe make that so. But I have deleted my save file. We're starting from fresh, so if you did not catch the Let's Try, do not worry. We're going to basically just be starting again from the beginning because there's not really that much beginning to it. So here we go. Popping on in. Two. Pocket Dungeon which I will say again, is not a mobile game. It sounds like a mobile game. It is not a mobile game. All right. Survey the world a little bit here. Again, very pretty, very nice, vibrant colors. Very like, yeah, Nintendo DS. Very Nintendo DS emulated kind of visuals to it, which I'm, I'm going to say is a compliment. Hey, blue guy, you haven't given up already, have you? Oh, good, you're still with us. We pulled you away from the monsters just in time. Salutations. I'm Puzzle Knight. You look just as lost as everyone else who ends up trapped here after touching that confounded cube. This is the pocket dungeon you see, a perfect snare, even for a puzzle prodigy such as myself, completely unsolvable. He's trying for years, you know. We've been riding the Boto wagon around, trying to gather new, up new arrivals like yourself. There have been rather a lot of them lately, haven't there, Chester? This one looks handy with that shovel with the knack for... What in the seven ciphers was that? A block blockade curses. We won't be getting anywhere with the what's until that is cleared out. You there with the shovel, make yourself useful, will ya? So, you can see right here, we, uh, we can walk around. It is grid-based, tile-based. It's going to be real-time slash turn-based. That'll make sense later if that does not make sense now. If you haven't seen it before. But we hit something for one damage here. But you may also may notice if we hit something that's, you know, in a chain with other things, it hits all of those things. So if we will hit this. It'll hit every single sand block that it is touching. One, two, three. Hits all of those. Uh, obviously, when we run into enemies, there's going to be a little bit more complication. Uh, and also everything comes down at a certain speed. Every time you move, you automatically snap it to the next uh, turn, if you will. But if you take too long to do an action, time will pass you by and things will start befalling you. Quite literally, I guess. It wasn't on purpose. Notice you can chain together t matching it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we did mention that. None of this will matter if the Beatos get us. I hear them skittering. Oh, I feel faint. So here we go. Here we have the enemies. Is there going to be another one that drops or not? No. So here we go. You see that? We attack. We took a damage because every attack is going to be a trade. However, since we kill there, we will not get attacked back because we technically attack first. Technically attack first. You didn't think they just let, let you run up and smack them, did you? They hit back, of course, whenever you attack. Only one next to you, though. By chaining your attack, you'll dispatch the whole group from a safe distance. Alas, you won't get by without taking some damage. Luckily, potions are plentiful here. Try one. Slurp. Refreshing, isn't it? You'll get used to the taste quickly if you want to stay alive. Lastly, time works differently in the pocket dungeon. Rushes forward whenever you move and passes by slowly if you stand still. Uh-oh, speaking of which, be toast that beat incoming. Remember, don't rush. Take your time. Plan your next step. Be quick, but be decisive. It really is the best way to uh, explain it. You got to be quick, but you got to make sure you're you're schmoovin'. If you don't schmoove, uh, then everything will start to pass you by. But you kind of like I kind of want to make a stack of of the vetoes. There we go. I don't know. We don't need these potions. It's the tutorial here. I just wanted to get a big chain, lots of money. You know what can I say? I want to stack them all up, but it's going to get very hectic very, very fast. Oh, I can't actually get a good, too good of a chain, really. It's going to get really hectic really fast as enemies become uh, scarier, doing more damage, all of that kind of stuff, having special effects that you got to read on the fly. It's going to be, you're going to see, it, it becomes a lot if you have not seen already. Whoa, dig this guy. You're a natural. Thanks for the help. I'm sure our Valiant Puzzle Master would be impressed if he hadn't been, you know, cowering inside. I wonder what that key over there does. Unlock this chest we've been carrying around. How funny would that be? Uh, could be anything in there, too. Could even be a boat. Take it from me. You always 
want what's in a chest, try that key, would you? All right. Oh me, oh my, what have we here? Yes, yes, of course. After so long, the pieces have begun to fall into place. When I fell into the pocket dungeon, I lost my key to a special heirloom. It shattered into five key fragments, and you found one. Thank you, uh, Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight, here are the puzzled onward, my merry band. Well, our encampment is just up ahead. We'll stay out of the way while you can clear the path. You needn't go on foot. After enough enemies are defeated, a door will appear, leading us out of here. Simply unlock it and step through. Oh, and you're no good on couch, so do remember about the potions. Yes. All right, so we will uh, just let this flow here. We'll complete this area, and then we will get to the point where we will choose whether or not we want to play it uh, basically with infinite lives or if we want to go roguelike style. So basically, if we want to do it like a little bit more like a puzzle game or a little bit more uh, actually roguelike. Bang, bang. I just want big chains with lots of money. I don't know. Well, we can. Like, let's take advantage of it while it's easy to accomplish, right? You know? It's going to become tough soon. Soon our mind shall be flooded to the highest degree. Okay. We got our door. We got our key. Let's just... You know what? Let's go wild murder style. Because at, at this point, we, we did a good enough job with the rest of the level that we can pretty much just face, face slam and be okay. If the real-time action is too much for you as well... I have been informed that there is actually a mode you can turn on that makes it entirely turn-based. So if you really want to turn this into a relaxing zen puzzle experience, you can turn off the time limit for each turn, you can turn on infinite lives, and you can play this legit like a puzzle game. If that's what you want, that's not what we are going to be doing, though. You, we'll save that for you when you want to have a little bit of a zen time with something fun on your second monitor. When you want to pop the Retromation videos because you just subscribed on your second <laughs> on your second monitor. Then you can do that and then play at your own pace. Here we are, home sweet home. It's not much yet, but it's a solid base of operations. If we're to escape, we'll need to work our way through each level and defeat the ruler of this place. The pocket dungeon master. Who is he or she? No idea, but we saw some other knights falling here too. I bet they'd be willing they'd be willing to help if you cross paths. Make yourself comfortable. Please follow me when you're ready to embark. So I don't think do we have money? Thanks for the help. Blue guy, I'll have some items in the shop soon. Good deal. Bow, 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 bow. Your quest lies beyond the threshold, but there's one less matter to consider. So yeah. Like a puzzle game, when you fall in battle, you'll respawn, but when the puzzle the board fills up, your adventure is over, you turn to the camp. Or like a roguelite, whenever you fall in battle or your board fills up, your adventure is over and you return to the camp. When you're ready, take it the exit above. For me, I'll be here deep in thought. If you require my advice, just give me a firm jostle. Bye. That's what I always say. When I, when I wake up, I, I'm like, oh, I'm just getting up. But if you ever need advice, just give me a firm jostle. That'll do it. But alas, here we go. We got the skeletons. They are going to be doing quite a bit more damage to us than our bug friends. I believe they do two damage. Which makes a big difference. Makes a very, very big difference. Okay, I wanted to get that before it fell. You know, you want to get a little bit of action going on there. I want to save the um, skeletons for when I can make sure I get, like, a lot of them at once, because they are going to be spooky. There we go. Uh, oh, I, I beefed that. I beefed that very, very something fierce. There we go. Slime. They leave a little bit of a poison trail here. Stacking up. Okay. Um... All right, we do want to make sure we get a treasure. Here we go. What do we got? Oh, it's a bomb. Okay. All right. You know what? These skeletons are not doing what I'm wanting. So maybe we do just take them out. Get more treasure, though. Deals plus one damage on hit. Well, I mean, there we go. That's actually going to make this quite a bit easier. So we don't want to step on the poison there. You see that? We did two damage to them. Otherwise, you can see how that also could get very nasty very quickly. One, two. Okay, what do we got here? Blast the line with electricity. What? Oh, no, I was trying to point... I was trying to point upwards to blast my... 
I was trying to point upwards to blast with my new item, but I guess I have to hit E and then up, or does it always point where we're facing already? If you've got the cash, I've got the stash. Buy it's, it's kind of fine. I'm excited to buy some new relics anyways. Buy these relics now to unlock them to be discovered later in the dungeon. So these are items that we get. We don't get them right now. We don't get them forever. They're just new options for the dungeons. Uh, plus one damage at gem maximum. Find more bombs and get bomb resistance. That sounds kind of nice. All right, out we shall go. Let's just do a better job, shall we? I was just wanting to try out that weapon, but I, uh, I just did it wrong. There's nothing else to it. It's okay. It's great. I've set the bar very low, so now whenever I do even, like, remotely okay, you're going to be blown out of the water. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's wait for that to line up. Okay. I'm trying to think here, because I really want to line up the skeletons as much as possible. That's, like, really the big thing. Okay, so that's a freeze bomb. Gotcha. Good deal there. Do we have a key somewhere? We do. Got a bomb? Oh, my God. I was actually frightened that we actually maybe wouldn't get out of there in time. That would have been trash. Okay. Uh, do us plus one damage on hit. I don't know what to do here. I guess I'll get the potion. Probably is the good place to start. So I don't insta-die. Sometimes you just gotta take a second and process the situation. So we have 13 hits of plus one damage on a hit. So I want to take advantage of that while we can here. And clear out the skeletons especially. Okay. We have three more of those and then we'll need to switch to a different weapon if we want to get some kind of value. Okay. Um kind of trying to hold the bug here for a bit, but I guess I don't know why. What is this? Destroy all matching foes. Whoa! Okay, so it's just... Okay, gotcha. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. We got the key here. Is that the key we need to leave, or is that the key for a chest? I'm not sure. One, two, three... So we got the thing coming down from the top now. We got to be a little bit more careful, but we got to also make sure we're cleansing this space here. Does that deal damage to me? I don't think so. It does not look like it. All right. There's no point to go for the skeletons at this point. I will get any extra money we can out of those, but we would die to the skeletons. So no thanks. Bye-bye. No thank you. Bye-bye. So we have three times gems. 3x gems? x3 gems? Is that our gem multiplier was talking about? Possibly. This game is so good, guys. If if I'm not doing it justice, at least make sure you go and pick it up. The game truly is fantastic. Waiting for that poison to go away there. Key first. Oh, shoot, it's a shop. Slip into these socks and you're unzappable. Resist electric damage. Plus one damage every ten steps. Find gems in blocks. Ooh, that's tough. I'm not going to keep track of the ten. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to just... It'll probably add up a lot more than I would think, though. So these guys put up a shield in the direction that you hit them in. There we go. Got ourself a bomb. Let's go for it. Get it. Get out. Okay. I want key. I want item. What do we got? Stops time for a while. That sounds great. I feel like we have a little bit of planning we got to do. Okay. That did not go very well. Yeah, I don't know. Like, what do I do? Here, one. One, two. One. Two, three. Ah, yeah, ah, ooh, ooh. It's getting kind of, kind of tight there. Uh, clear the room. Okay. Uh, blocks the damage. Okay. Well, that's good. 
increases in value over time. Well, I kind of want to get all of these while we have the damage block going on. I don't know how to do this without. Okay, so he moves his shield every attack, unlike the other guys. Gotcha. Wow. All right. Okay, back at it now. Back at it now. Okay. There's that chest over here. I want it. Uh, freeze on hits. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So that pretty much makes it so we can't take damage uh, as long as we get the first hit, which is always. Oops. That's not the way to do it. Uh, ignite foes on hit. So now we can hit once and then pass the time, basically. And they will take that extra damage over time. One, two, okay. I'm hurting. All right, all right. We got to cleanse stuff. got to cleanse stuff. We're trying to set up some too big a chains, I think, at the moment. Okay. These all have coins in them. Good. Okay. We do not put fire on the ground anymore. It's worth noting. Okay. Uh... gonna want to make sure we just cleanse this stuff here we're doing a lot just for uh, for kicks and wiggles here okay all right all right um yeah we don't need to we don't need to greed here let's just get out let's just get out you probably get extra money for clearing the whole stage but hey i'd rather be uh alive than rich Hello there. Do we have any items? We do not have any items right now. Okay. So these guys, you can see that they do like a little bit of an electric charge. Oh god. Uh, oh, I have put myself in a predicament. Oh, I've really put myself in a predicament. Oh, no we didn't. Okay. I'm trying to... Trying to brainstorm here, and I have chosen probably the worst possible action. Oh, God. Oh, my God. So these guys, they hide until you hit something else. It can be anything, though. All right. God, I hated that moment. But, hey, we need to do something. Item, what do we got? It's a bomb! I mean, that's really helpful. Is it? Oh, it's a turkey. I didn't have a key. Okay. One, two, three. We can take down the skeleton from full HP, but that's it. Okay. There we go. Trying to switch it up there. What do we got? It's a shop. Another shop. So we don't have this. We could get the meal ticket. Item damage and durability. Resisting electricity. Actually, hold on. That would have been better here than the other zone. I just didn't think about it too much. Ooh, that is sting. Oh, okay. Okay, I need to get acting here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, oh, my God. There's, like, no good chains here. Just do it. Just start killing. Just start killing. I don't need a good chain. Just go, just go, just go, just go. We have the inflame thing. I don't know if it really is working here. Okay, good. That was important. That was very important. God, what a terrible hit that is. Oh, I'm so clumped and there's no nothing that's a chain. Bomb. Go! Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm ready to leave. Like, I feel like I've just trashed this area. I did bad, 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 bad here. I'm so flooded by how out of place everything feels like it is. There we go. I mean, that's just on me, though. That's really all it is. I have another key for what? Okay. Good. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, God. What? Ah, this little... Oh, God, I'm just so flooded. 
Greetings from me, the Shrine Master. You've done well to reach one of the four shrines, but it's locked. You need three keys to get through. Who would have thought? Who would have that? Oh, that's still here. Too bad you don't have a skeleton key. Yeah. Um, I guess I can't get to that potion, so I'm gonna leave. Leave me alone here. If you just stop bothering me, I could solve this puzzle. Flag Knight. So we're actually low on HP. There will be a, um, oh my god. Potion at some point, right? Yeah, okay. Good deal. Just waiting to get ourselves to full. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to wait so I don't get surprised by something. I'm going to wait until I get a couple more potions. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh! Move down, good. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh, God. Moving a lot faster near the end of his life there. Goodbye, Fuel. Unlock the Flag Knight achievement. Awesome. Nice and easy for now. So we've unlocked a new character, and the new character does, in fact, if it's anything like Spectre Knight, which we unlocked in the Let's Try, does, in fact, play different. What? Only destructible by explosions. What's up with the Florb? What is up with you, Florb? Another shop. Potions won't chain. Oh, wait. Mm. Plus one damage for every third hit to the same foe. Potions won't change is actually kind of interesting. I want to try that out. Where the hell am I? Oh, God. At low HP, warps away when struck. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We take that, we take that, we take that. Ah, got it. We had to pay attention to which side he was going on. You're going to blow up? You are going to... Oh, you are going to blow up, and the bomb's going to blow up, too. Oh, mama! Oh, my God. That was a gnarly chain reaction. Just wait for him to come back. What do we got? Oh, it's a firebomb. And then now there's an actual bomb over there. Oh, this is... This level is extra chaos. Okay, so those are frozen. They can't run. I made a mistake. Okay, at least they do not... I was worried they might insta-kill, which would have been super annoying. Okay, now we freeze on hit. Which is very nice. I believe this fancy thing just gets... go Like, grows in value over time. That thing that we blew up over there. Kind of, like, wasted it, more or less. Okay, let's... Try it. And... Get a good deal going on here with this thing. All right, let's actually, let's go here. Bonus stage. Oh, just straight up get an item of our choice, more or less. That's the insta-kill one specific item. Those are, like, longer range. I, I like the idea of destroy all matching foes. It's a good way to just get an instant out of any scenario. Yeah, 500 bucks for a level clear. We'll take it. But also, yeah, it's not the end of the world if we um, if we don't get that. It's not the end of the world. Iron Whale. Gets knocked back a space on hit. Well, not if you are in a spot like that. Okay, another shop. Plus one damage to lone foes. That's kind of good. I'm going to just get this so I don't forget to... I, I feel like in the Let's Try, I kept forgetting to go back into the shops. What's your deal? Well, I'm immune to electricity now, so... Ah, shoot. Uh-oh. I'm going to let him stick here. Okay. All right. Uh, speaking of stick here, I am now stuck here. 
This is not good. I like I can't I'm just literally stuck over on this side. Okay, at least we can uh we can cleanse out that stuff. That was actually almost very bad. And I could see the um not chaining the potions ending up being a problem in the future. Like if we needed to clear everything out really fast like this. Okay, this lets us pierce. You know what? Get out of here, man. This gives us pierce so we can hit things um, in front of us and the one tile behind it, I believe. Okay. Get out of here. I'm, I'm immune to electricity. I'm happy about that. I'm really happy about that. It's proving to be awesome for us. Okay. Apparently. Plus one damage. Uh, no good chains. We have 11 hits of bonus damage still, so let's try and utilize that a little bit. Get out of my way. Um... Trying desperately to get the full clear here, but it's just... I don't think it can happen. I'll do the plus one damage to lone foes thing. It's my health out. Yeah, like, because I, I couldn't leave that room. I couldn't leave that box in a different way. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had to leave it to the right. It wouldn't let us move a different direction. Chromatic Caverns. Is this where we died last? I think this is where we died last time. Those guys have a very strange movement pattern, if I remember correctly. The uh, crystal boys. God, doing the one extra damage to these lone fools is actually really nice. If there's anybody who's just like kind of cramping your style and they're messing up your placement of everything, it's just like, boom, they're gone. Because you see that? That's the problem with these guys. Is they slowly kind of like fall down if there's open spaces. Uh, I'm, I'm immune. Oh, I'm not immune to dying though. Okay, are they not electric? They're not electric, they're just spiky. Okay, fine. Stronger when grouped together. I understand. At first glance, I thought, oh, this is another enemy that turns electric -y when they. <laughs> when whatever happens. That is not what happened. Gotcha. Hang out. Percy's so cool. His kid is a great way to practice more advanced levels. I'll tell you what. We'll save Flag Knight for episode two. Fatal Blows recover two HP at low health. Sounds awesome. Again, we don't get that right now. That's just something we can now find in the dungeons. We can now find that in the dungeons. Okay, let's uh, focus fire. Okay, Skellington. Got them all grouped up. We can kill them from full, but then how do I get out? That, that's my concern. Okay. There we are. I think that's the important, like, an important thing is to start to remember what HP you need to be at to get certain enemies killed safely. Okay, well now, oops, now we can kill whatever we want. Stupid potion chain. Without any fear, pretty much. Oh, shoot. Should have attacked when we had the chance there. Okay, good, 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 good. What do we got? Another ice one. Good stuff, good stuff. We, we like the ice. We like ice. We're tunneling a little bit on the right side. We need to make sure we get this stuff over here as well. Oop, don't want to leave yet. Thought I had a key. I guess we use it on the door. Javelin. Stinking potions. I I hate that we, uh, we use all of them now. 
clear the whole kit and caboodle. I know we win that. I just am afraid by it anyways. What the- Ah, shoot! There's nothing I can do, dude. I can kill him, but I can't kill the other guy! Beans! I beefed it! I beefed it! Next. It's an easy one. I feel like I want to, yeah, anytime I see a chain of any bugs, I want to make sure I get in there and get them. And I think whenever I see any slime ever, we want to make sure we just, like, get in there and delete him from existence. Stop time. Let's think. Same with those. Because we need to make sure when we kill these big boys, oh, we're killing lots of big boys. Because they are going to take some doing. See, like, that is satisfying. Like, sometimes you can tunnel too hard on chains, obviously. But also, sometimes situations like that happen. And dreams come true. Woo, that was, oh, that was some quick thinking I had to do there. Otherwise, we were going to get trapped and die. Nope, 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 nope. What do I have on? The spear? The spear. Okay. There, okay. Let's try and put something between us and that guy. Oh, hello. Uh, freeze him. Freeze him and eat him. Oh, boy. I'm, st I'm stuck here, more or less. Behold, it is I, the Trouble King. My blessings are upon you, mortal. Grab a single chalice of a magic acorn that lies before you. Choose your care wisely. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, slap that boy up, that bad boy on right now. That is absolutely what we needed. Okay, we're out. Good. Yikes. 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 Hard here to get the full clear, but I don't know if it's in the cards, man. Oh, yeah, whatever. Uh, you know, I didn't want it. I didn't want it. I didn't want it. I didn't want to buy anything either. We'll, we'll go to the next the next store. It's too much to juggle going back to. Oh, hey. Going back to stores that you already opened. It's too much trouble, man. Oops. Not good. Man, when the skeletons are the ones that break your brain the least here. Okay, so now we do extra damage. Uh, okay, so if we get a kill, if we set one up like that, see that? We get the kill immediately. On all the other ones, even though they were at full. We one-shot the frogs while we have this item. Which is also really good. Okay. Okay, okay. Got a key for what? For what? Oh my god, I really took my sweet bottom time on that one, huh? Just the shop. I mean, let's check it out. First strikes do plus one damage. Awesome. Plus two health. Sounds good. Okay, so now we one shot these guys, anyways. So if anybody dies in the entire chain, I guess we're good. We have two keys. Okay, so now we have flame hit. So those, even the, oh, well, we have the flame. We do damage, or two damage for the first strike. And then the flame does that extra work for us. Oh, my God. We do not have electric immunity. You think it's Dongus. This is. 
What a mess this is. Take one less damage. Do I care about any of this? I'm just gonna leave. Right. Yeah, I, I don't want to die. Aha! I knew I recognized the clumsy sound of commoners walk now before your king. Okay. Gonna need to... Gonna need to get a little bit of health here, please. What? Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm doing pretty good. The shield is awesome here. I'm gonna leave just in case. Now he's doing a little bit of juggling, a little bit of dancing, a little bit of schmoving. Okay, that's fine. All right, nice and easy. Unlock King Knight. Die nerd. Bye bye nerd. Die die nerd. New character unlocked. Sounds very exciting. All right. Okay, so we kill those in one. That seems just massive. What do we want? Maybe we want potions not chain. Oh, shoot. That was annoying. But hey, what are you gonna do? Ah, that one was all me. Okay, one hitting these guys is huge. Getting to the point where you one hit an enemy is so good. Bomb them. We don't get as much money out of that, though, I don't think. Javelin sounds great. Oh my god, we're gonna shred now. Ooh, we're gonna shred now. Oh. We have one key. Do we. Maybe we try and wait to open anything, see if we can possibly. Oops. What? Oh, it's an explosive rock that is, can only be. Okay, well, never mind. Uh. I see. Okay, well, now we know how that item works. I'm not mad at myself, but it, it seems okay. slightly not convoluted, but it could be done one of two ways, and it was done the other way. That's all there is to it. Oh, mama. Okay, we're doing pretty good here. I'm just, okay, I was gonna say I'm I'm about to blow up. I thought I was I thought I was dead man. Thought I was a dead man man. Okay. Just want to get all the explosive boys because then we win, man. We're just done. Blocks one damage. I like this better. Uh, let's see what's in here. I'm a little concerned. Okay. Okay. Trying to take a little bit of my time here. You know what tis with this. Shoot. Okay, let's let them line up. Sure. Well, we are good. We, we get to pick up the freezing item, too. We get the extra money. Sure. That that music goes hard. <laughs> and let's get the... Let's get the revive. Because, yeah, I, I do really like the potion upgrade. But I could definitely see a world where it screws us over. I could really see that happening. All right, what was that level? It was the Iron Whale. No, this is now the Iron Whale. No, this is Patrick. Oh god, the water. Oh boy. I'm trying to make myself a nice clean platform here. To work with. Ah, shoot, the shop. I thought this was just a regular chest. I know that you can tell the difference. I know you can. Okay. Freeze for me. What do we got? Uh, avoid harm in the smoke. Interesting. Curious to see how that works in practice. I'm assuming it's just like one spot on the map. 
like the tile underneath you is just you can't get hurt there i think that's probably just it that's probably the whole thing i think i cracked it okay um i was worried that was gonna go differently thought i had a key uh stop time for a while sounds nice We really almost... Oh, that movement was so clean. Oh, God, that almost was a disaster. This was one damage on hit. Extra damage on hit. Sounds great. So we one-shot that man. Oh, get out of town, dude. Get out of town. Okay, we are... What we have this, we are like a... Nigh a god. Don't get too cocky, though. We've lost it, first of all. Okay. Uh, do I care about killing these? Probably not. I can't get that potion. I don't know if I should go in there with this much health because it could be it. It could be something good, like strictly good, but it could also be a thing that I have to do a fight, and then I'm toast. All right, to the Chromatic Caverns, the place that I guess I can't beat. Okay, kill on first hit is awesome, though. We don't want those guys to, the flying guys, to stack up. That's a big thing. We want to be a little bit more vicious. A little bit more vicious. I don't love that, but hey. Be a little vicious, be a little vicious. Two damage, plus two damage on hit. Okay. That's a little bit of a different story. Maybe we can go for him. That's a little bit more appealing, a little bit more exciting. Javelin. Probably get that in a sec. Uh, sure. Burn everything. I will burn this place to the ground! Those guys are no joke. Potions won't change. Plus one damage to undead. Plus ten. Ten plus change. Recover all health. Ah, fine. And resist electricity. Let's just do it. Oh, shoot. God, that, that's what got me last time. Is you, If you stand underneath them, it really is not very good for you. It will trip you up. Oh, back into the shop, I guess. Bup, 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 bup. Okay. Doing fine, doing fine, doing fine. I wasn't I wasn't sure that we weren't gonna die there. I was not positive about it. It was theoretical. Uh, I could have cleared that. I could have cleared that. Ah, uh, you're here too soon, but I'll fight you now if I have to. Hello there, Tinker Knight. Time for tools. You scared? How do I know that I'm not going to be underneath your attack? I wanted to kind of corner him there for a sec. Alright, I mean, did I just... Is that it? That's it. I did not get an achievement called Unlock Tinker Knight. Ah! That's why. Okay. I'm noticing I'm not doing damage to him. Oh my god. That's... Okay. Gotcha. Understood. I need potion. You jerk. He's breaking him. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, no. Ah! 
Oh my god. This is so much tougher than the other ones. I gotta be careful. There we go. Careful be darned! I'm a winner! I'm a winner! I don't need to be careful. Die, dude. It says I unlocked him now. So I, I wasn't sure if he was going to be playable or not. Let's go. Clockwork Tower. Oh, boy. It's harder when you're at low HP. Oh, jeez. Electrifies and moves when struck. Just glad that that just does not matter for us. We are immune to electricity, which is proven to be... Oh, no. Useful a lot more often than I had anticipated it would be. Nice. Okay, bonus damage. This sounds fantastic. We can one-shot those guys for now. Okay, two shot on those. Uh, uh, uh. What do we got? Javelin. Don't mind if I do. Go. Uh, go. Okay, I died, but I'm back. I died, but I'm back. Let's get another revive. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. I was like, I, I had to think about that for a sec. Okay, I'm blowing up the potion too, because uh, I guess that's just what I want to do. Don't question it. I'm not. Okay. So I guess the visual indicator is them saying you're low on HP. You're low enough on HP for me to consider you low on HP. Gotcha. That's weird. weird stuff, weird stuff. Okay. No! I did the math wrong. I did the math wrong. I saw two damage. I was like, okay, we're good. Two, two more damage. We're, we're good for kill. That's the thing. It does one damage, and then when you're low, I just... If it was, if it was strictly turn-based, and I wasn't rushing, you know, that would make a little bit... It would be a little bit smoother, a little bit easier to uh, recognize that and not attack. But alas, I am new and bad. So... Just wanted to get it there before something fell on my head. Dang it. Okay, so we got you there. Where is, um... Gather metal, then press R to build mech. Mech explodes when metal is depleted. Oh, my God. Press R to bash. Hits harder based on distance, but you'll take one more damage. Oh, my God. So I can't press R to see the mech here. Poison your foes with attacks and bombs, but reduce max HP. I mean, that seems pretty decent. Like a pretty cool trade-off. Not that much less. Yeah. I mean, one adds up, obviously, but theoretically, poison will do 2x the damage. Oops. I bought a shortcut. Pride more, magic landfill, clockwork tower. Okay, so we saw the chromatic caverns. Is there what? Three more? I didn't mean to. Okay, all right. I meant, yes, very much meant to go to the lich yard. Wait, are we gonna unlock uh, Spectre Knight? Wait. Maybe this was a great idea. I wasn't trying to do more here, but hey, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Oh god, something went in my way! I didn't mean it! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. Alright, that worked really well. That worked really, really well. Oh. <laughs> I know we don't need to do that that fast, but it's just like, feels like you do sometimes, you know? Unless 
damage. We'll just keep on moving just for a moment here to hopefully unlock a new character. Oh, God, what? Oh, I didn't break the rock. I didn't break the rock. Also, that was <laughs> horrendously bad. More shield. Sounds good. Ah! Not good enough, clearly. That's kind of interesting. We can use the chest as a way to uh, just refresh our attacks if we need to. Whoop. Smooth moves. Warrior wear smooth move. Do we have a key? No, we don't. Too good. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh my god. Should we just leave? Since we're not do we're not doing this run or anything. Should we just leave? Mortal, you trespass on ground not meant for the living! Vector Knight is the one we unlocked in the Let's Try. Oh god, let's just... Let's just wait a sec. What? Okay. Let's wait for the potions. Okay, should theoretically go back to him back there. I feel like we should leave 2 HP just in case we get rando hit by... Oh, heck. By the scythe. I feel like that... Oh, it, it did do damage. I can say, I feel like that should do damage. should have done damage to me. Again, don't greed. Don't greed. This is actually very, like, oh, shoot. Cut and dry if we just... There we go. All right. Cool deal. We've unlocked Spectre Knight. I don't get the achievement because I already got it last time. But we'll do that and we'll call it there. Yes, we could go to the Magic Landfill, all that, yada, yada. But we are going to be popping back. This is a chaotic thing here. I can't hit escape, I'm noticing. Kill me! It's so easy to die if you want to die. The time to die in this game. So fast if you want to. <laughs> but alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do for today. This has been Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon. We'll be back at it again tomorrow to check out another new character. Sure, let's get that. Uh, we'll be back to check out another new character, play a little bit more, see if we can get a little bit further. But the game is so good, it's out now on Switch and PC for sure. Um, but I really like it. My name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelites. So if you are a fan of this mode in this game, or you like roguelikes in general especially, this is definitely a channel you want to be subscribed to. I will make sure you do not miss any great new indie games. You will have a full wish list, and you'll never run out of something to play that is incredible. So thank you. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.